it's free just do it or should i get an only fans which one is it <laughs> Welcome back to my channel if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you for clicking the video if you want to watch me recreate this basketball purse stay tuned and let's get into the video okay so this basketball i have here it's a small miniature ball it's pink and white and i will be making it into a basketball purse so let's get started okay so here i'm showing you guys the logo the nike sign is on each side of the ball so I'm showing you guys, this is how you split the middle where you will be placing the zipper. So you grab your scissors and you poke a hole on each side of the ball. And you have to be really careful because this part is very tedious. So yeah, so right now I already measured it and I am just going to split it down the middle. Hey guys, if you want to be a part of the giveaway, keep on watching the video and... You'll be a part of it. Stay tuned and see what you have to do to be a part of the giveaway. This is the part where I said you have to be tedious. You see right now I will clean up all the jagged edges. I'm going to show you how it's jagged and I will be cutting that and trimming it and making sure that is more clean. So if you guys mess up, you guys can always fix it and do it again yourself and... It's two different ways you can add um, your hardware on your ball. So this hardware is very expensive and it's hard to find. So if you ask in the comment section below, where do I get my hardware from? It's a wholesale. So um, if you guys want to order a bag, you guys can order a bag through me because my vendor do not sell it in small, small amounts. So you have to buy it in full amounts. So. For serious inquiries, if you want me to make you a ball, I will do that. So, guys, this is normally where I place my hardware, but as you can see, if you continue to watch the clip, I will move the hardware in a different location. But this is majority of the placement of where I will be placing this hardware. However, this was a smaller bag, so... I will be placing at the top of the bag. So this hardware actually come with two small screws and I screwed it on. I will show you guys the screwdriver that I use. It's a miniature screwdriver. I don't know where you can buy it from, but it was something that I already had within my kits um, for previous DIY projects that I've used. So that is the screwdriver. I don't know if you can tell that it's a screwdriver, but I'm trying to get it to focus, but it didn't. So anyway, you guys, that's the screwdriver size that I used. Ah, very sturdy. Very sturdy. And here is the hardware on the ball. It is very sturdy, and that's how it should look if you place your hardware that way. But now I have another clip on how I place the hardware on the top. Here I'm just showing you the, the screw of each hardware. So here is gold and then I had extra screws of course because I have tons of these hardware pieces and I have silver, gold, gunmetal, different types of color and that was like a flat rectangular hardware but in the next clip I will show you what hardware I am using for the top of the ball. Okay guys, you see me with the marker in my hand because I was marking all of the placement. So here is, again, another arch tool that I'm using, or I call it an arch hardware. And yeah, I dropped it. <laughs> so yeah, so I poked my holes, I measured up everything, and now I'm twisting the screw and the hardware together for that half. And then I will be doing, again, grabbing my screwdriver and I will be placing the nail inside of the ball. And I will be grabbing my screwdriver to screw the hardware and the screw together so it get a good tight fit. So here again, here's the screwdriver that I'm using. 
and I will be screwing it in. It's on the inside of the bowl and I will be connecting them together. Okay, so usually I add the zipper on first, but I wanted to add the connectors on. And that is how I'm going to place the hardware on this smaller version of a ball. And yeah, so this is called a miniature basketball. And I am selling these balls. So if you want to order, I will put it back in frame. <laughs> if you want to order, please comment below. And I will leave my Gmail email in the description box below so now i'm going to take it off and i'm going to add <laughs> i'm going to add the zipper okay so for the pink ball i'm adding a colorful um element on this basketball so the zigzag part of a zipper is called an element and the piece that you add onto the zipper is called a slider. So I'm adding this slider onto the zipper myself. And I do not have a full zipper. I don't have like the bottom stop and the top stoppers. So I just um, use my magic <laughs> to make sure that the zipper can stay. So there's ways that you can add a zipper on a zipper but this is not a tutorial on how to add a zipper this is just my way so you guys can google how to add a zipper or you can buy your zipper that already comes all together but I like to do mines very custom made so I'm adding the slider onto the element part of the zipper okay so instead of me pushing it down I'm gonna I'm going to slide it on, I guess. Yay. Okay. So there's no bubbles. So I added the zipper onto the element, or I should say the slider onto the element of the zipper. And here I am just showing you guys. I will be poking holes onto the basketball to stitch the zipper onto the ball. It's the one lash for me. I'm like so serious. <laughs> so this is like my off day. Like I'm not supposed to be in the camera, but whatever. It's the one lash for me and my eyebrows not even done. But you know, it's not about me. It's about the ball. <laughs> so if you guys have made it this far in the video, please comment below. Tell me you were here. Tell me what you think of the process of making a basketball purse. And if you want to inquire about a ball, please email me or comment below and let me know. Okay, so if you made it this far in the video, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put it in a faster speed video just so you guys won't be sitting here just watching the process, feeling like it's in slow motion. So I'm almost done poking holes in the ball to stitch the zipper on. Okay, so here I am stitching the zipper onto the basketball i'm just going through the holes that i made but you want to make sure you mark each hole and make sure each hole is lined up so here you just see me stitching the zipper on stitched on and you can zip it regular unzip it it's hollow on the inside of course my client left their headphones inside but you can put all your stuff inside 
and voila. Now it's a delicate bag. I added a gold chain. In the video you saw that I added a silver zipper, but here I have a gold one. A gold zipper. And I added a thick band on it. Usually I'll have like my tag on here, but I have to order more tags and I needed to give my client their bags. So here is the bag. Hey, since you made it this far in the video, you are now entered in the giveaway. And the giveaway is a basketball purse. purse. Yes, a miniature basketball purse that looks like this. Maybe not this color, but you have to give me three reasons why you should be a part of the giveaway. If you want to email me or send me a message on my triple threat, direct message, however you want to send it, send it to me so nobody won't be cheating off your answer. So just give me three reasons and you could be a lucky winner. It's free. Just do it. Or should I get an OnlyFans? Which one is it? <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in and see you in the next video.